So hey guys, what is up? And I'm back with another video. And this time it's Ultimate Tech Room Setup. And this time it is episode two. And let's get right into it, guys. So this first setup is from Typical J. And this time he is rocking a Corsair Graphite Series 780T black full tower case, an Intel Core i7-4790K, Go Corsair Hydro Series H100i, GTX 240mm high performance radiator, a 16GB Corsair Vengeance Pro Series red and silver 1866MHz RAM, an MSI PCI Express video card that is a GTX 980Ti with 6GB of video storage. He has two Samsung Evo drives. He has a Samsung Pro 250GB SSD and then a 500GB Evo drive. And he has two 840 Evo 120Gs. And his peripherals include a Corsair SP2 1500 gaming speaker audio 2.1 system, Astro gaming headset and an ASUS wireless dual band gigabit wireless router and a GTM and GoPro racing office chair. Next person in the show is Mr. Shini and his hardware include an AMD FX8328 core processor, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760, Asus VGT48 monitor, an Asus AOC M206 SWD monitor and its peripherals include a Cooler Master Quickfire Rapid Keyboard, Logitech G430 headphones, Logitech C615 webcam, Logitech CZ, Logitech Z313 dancing water speakers and an Audio Technica AT2020 and Elgato Game Capture HD consoles include an Xbox 360 and a PS4. Next one is Bishop Tech and he does have a YouTube channel and Twitter which will be linked below and every, all the links to all the products that are mentioned in the video will be also linked below. His hardware include an AMD Athlon X4 750K processor, MSI motherboard, Western Digital Caviar Blue 250GB hard drive and a Western Digital Caviar Black 1TB drive, Asus Radeon HD 7 record, <coughs> a Corsair RM850 power supply, a Thermaltake Commander Snow Edition, HP Monitor and a Dell Monitor. Peripherals include an Alesis Multimix 4 USB, Logitech M500 cord and mouse, and a Sony MDR-ZX100 headphones. Phase Lukeman is number 3, and he has a Mac Mini which was rocking an Intel i5 2.6 GHz processor, Iris Pro Graphics 8GB of RAM, and a 128GB SSD with a 23 inch monitor and his peripherals are an Apple wireless keyboard and a Logitech wireless mini mouse. What's going on guys? My name is Keith and I'm a tech tuber as well as a contributing writer to thegametechnician.com and this is my gaming setup. And these are the collector's posters that I got from my stint as a member of AMD's Red Team Plus. And over here we have my shelf o stuff where we have parts that I set at, that I'm about to be using or I'm in the process of writing a review for or just generally don't feel like putting anywhere else. As well as my stack of CPU boxes with AMD and Intel. So a little bit of everything there. And this is the camera that I use for my recordings, except for the one right now, which is my Canon T3i 600, uh, 600D. I absolutely love this camera, so it's good stuff. My audio is handled by the Audio-Technica ATR2500, and I've got that on a boom mic so I can kind of stick it back behind my monitor when I'm not using it. Kind of hides the cheap uh, Logitech speakers that I use. Not too terribly picky since I use headphones most of the time anyway. For my peripherals, I'm rocking the Rocket ISU FX uh, multicolored keyboard and the Rocket Tyon mouse. And I absolutely love the Rocket Taito Control mouse pad. Got a Logitech C920 for my capturing and my Monoprice 4K monitor that I absolutely love. And all of its cables hanging everywhere so that I can hook up any kind of GPU to it that I need to. Using the Master Case 5 uh, with the top cover edition keeps it quiet and cool. But on the inside, we have an 
Intel Core i7-4770K at 4.2GHz with 8GB of Radeon Gamer RAM at 2400MHz and a AMD Radeon 295X2 all on an ASUS ROG Maxima 6 Hero board, that's the ZD7 and this is all powered by Cooler Master V1200 Platinum Power Supply down here in the basement. We also have my storage which is a 2TB C8 SSHD and a 512GB Crucial MX100 SSD. And that pretty much rounds it out guys. This was my gaming setup. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you guys later. So that was it for this video guys. I hope you did enjoy it and if you haven't already and you don't know how to enter then link will be in the description below to the first announcement video so you know what instructions there are so i hope you did enjoy this video guys make sure to leave a like below if you did comment if you have any questions about any of the products included in this video and remember all the links are in the description so make sure to use those links and i'll see you guys in my next video see ya